Johnson, the arts reporter, your arts reporter. You are logged on to MimiJohnson.net, the triple thread, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. Of course, y'all know I have the most fabulous guest in the world. As usual, it is what it is. I got to do a couple of plugs. I am going to do some fan mail next week, but I'm, it's the end of the year. It's um, We are at episode 10. Season two. So I just got to let you know, December 12th, Prettiest Pink right here next week, episode 12. December 19th, Purple is Life. Now, you know, Prettiest Pink is my breast cancer awareness show that we do every other month with Nichelle Fox. Purple is Life is our domestic violence awareness, fighting domestic violence with Ms. Vita Brown and Prosper Miller. Okay, so that'll be episode 13, and we're done for the season. Then me and Mr. Al Burrows, we're taking a two-week vacation. So you will not see us again until season three, episode one, January 9th, with Iokeisha Smith, naturalhairquest.com. I am her official spokesmodel. I'm doing my photo shoot this week and some commercials. I'm so excited. I am going to need for Al to just zoom into my hair. You guys zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Because she came to my house today. First of all, she did my hair on Monday. But she came to my house today and she hooked me up. Ah, you gotta see, you gotta see, you gotta see. Wait, wait, wait. Go this way, go this way. Oh, you see it? It's so fabulous. Do you see it? I right, here we go. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you can push back now. <laughs> I just gotta let y'all see. Uh, and so log on to naturalquest.com. Uh Iokeisha Smith. Okay, so look, my mother's birthday is December 7th, which is Friday. Log on to the Arts Reporter at Blog Talk Radio because it's gonna be all about me and my mom for the Diva and Daughter Experience, December 7th. Every Friday, we are on Blog Talk Radio. So just go to the Arts Reporter at Blog Talk. Um, now, so I gotta sing happy birthday to my mom, okay? I love you, mom. If it wasn't for her, the Arts Reporter would never be. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my mother Joan, Diva JC. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, mommy. I love you. Mwah. Now. I had to get that out. Y'all know I love my mama so much. My mama and chicken. No, not. <laughs> um, and I also got to let y'all know Kendall Richardson and I on Mondays, we have our HIV and AIDS awareness radio show on Blog Talk Radio, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock, Arts Reporter at Blog Talk, Mondays and Fridays. Okay, compilation CD, Women in Jazz South Florida, number three, go get your copies. It is absolutely wonderful. 
womeninjazzsouthflorida.com. We support women musicians and composers, and we promote them and book them worldwide. Incredible. Okay. And we just released our Women in Jazz South Florida Compilation 3, where we pick 10 members from our organization. It's a 501c3, and we create a musical piece, and it is just dynamic. And... December 16th, Angie Jackson, log on to MimiJohnson.net. We are going to be doing all of the music for our wonderful, wonderful play, Angie Jackson, the musical. And you can also log on to Key, K-E-E, Multimedia Studios for more information on the show. Or contact me, theartsreporter at gmail.com. Um, also, you know Rimshot, where I'm casting that musical with Angela Carswell. Um, February, we will be in Macon for 2013. And I just got cast as Spider in Carousel. And we open in March. So you'll get all that information. I just kind of wanted to take this time, give you everything you needed to get. So that you could just be like, yay, Mimi, and root for me and support me and my team. Oh, my God, I love my team, Caustic Entertainment, Steve Moore, Joan Cartwright, Auntie Kathy Boons, and um, Tamika Powell, and my fabulous television engineer, Al Burroughs. We'll be back right after this message. You are logged on to MimiJohnson.net, the arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. Mwah. Miss Mimi Johnson, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. Um, Y'all know who this is. <laughs> this is one of my road dogs. Travel all around the world with me. Snap, 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 taking pictures. This is Steve Moore with Whitfield Moore Photography. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Hello, fans. <laughs> hey. What's going on? I'm sorry I missed the last show. You know, I was a little in the weather. I was oh, don't worry sick. about it. Don't but, worry know, about it. I was it. in here on chat like this. Yes. But, uh, Let's talk about, um, you got some specials going on with your photography yes, services. For the holiday season, I do have some specials going on. Mm -hmm. They're very good. Mm -hmm. Quality work. And what, um, <laughs> you can email me at bkny60 right. at yahoo.com. That's B for boy. I'll put it this way. Brooklyn, New York, 60 at yahoo.com right email me there or you can call me Whitfield Morph and Son Photography yes. at 770-609-7173 uh-huh that's you know it's for only for the month of July um, July <laughs> December <laughs> I'm thinking about my birthday but hold on uh, shout out to my son now happy birthday hey, son hey Niall uh, December 16th. How old will he be? 13. 13. Wow. That's yeah, it. 13. That's it. He going into almost, you know, the young manhood. Young yeah. manhood. Okay. Uh, you too, huh? Coming up. I'm going the, the into... 23rd. I'm going up. I'm, I'm being straight 
like woman, woman, womanhood. I'm going to be 47 years old. Wow. AARP is going to be at your door. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I think I should be all right. I got insurance. You're going to be peeking through the blinds like that. Don't say ARP again. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to, uh, being that we're going to the holiday season, the big issue with me is safety. Yes. And especially with our younger people, you know how I was young once too. I'm still young. But uh, wanting to go out Christmas Eve, uh, Christmas night, New Year's Eve, New Year's night, Please, yes. on these roads, please be careful. Yes. Number one, put away the cell phones. Yes. If the person that's calling you can't wait till you get to your destination, it's not that important. Right. Because if it is, they'll leave your message and you can call them back. No texting on the road. Right. No talking unless you have a hands-free unit. Because the highest amount of fatalities on Georgia's interstates and highways happen during the holiday season. Mm -hmm. So please and be how do you, mindful. And how do you know that? Uh, I'm a forensic technician at the Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office. Yeah, so I he knows autopsies, the statistics. And I am sick and tired of seeing young people mm. under the age of 30 laying on these tables mm -hmm. every day. It's time to be mindful Time to be mindful of your friends, if you want to call them your friends, the places you go to. If you can find a house party to go to New Year's Eve, your safest bet. Yes. And if you can't drive, be sure these people will allow you to stay over. Yes. And then leave in the morning. Try not to do the clubs because it is too dangerous. Please, people, be mindful of your safety. That is so important because I know um, I, I don't even go out after my birthday. I'm, I stay in. Like, I buy everything that I need for two weeks, two, three weeks, and I don't go out. Um, once it, my birthday hits, December 23rd, yeah, y'all can say happy birthday to me. Um, I just have made it. This has been going on for years with me. Since my kids were, like, little, I always just stayed at home. And I just party at my house because it's so many people and so much going on and people are drinking and driving and texting and on the phone and not paying attention. And there's so many fatalities. And I don't want to be one of those people. I want to bring in the new year alive and well. So take the advice of Steve Moore. Yeah. Yes. Question for your fans. Yes. I mean, wouldn't you rather bring the new year's in with people that you know that you're familiar with? Yes. Versus... In a place with two, three hundred people, no room to walk, no room to move, nowhere to dance. They're all strangers. Uh, do the math. Yeah. I'd rather be somewhere where I know everyone. Me too. I can trust someone and say, hey, hey, uh, go get me a drink. Me too. And they'll go make it for you. You can walk away from it and don't have to worry about it being spiked. Right. I mean, and then you're around people that will not let you leave if you've had too much to drink or if you might have just danced too hard. You're around loved ones. Think about and it. And you can crash. You can, and, and I think you can fit about 10 people in my bed. So I know last <laughs> year it was me, my grandson, uh, a couple of my girlfriends and their kids. I mean, it, was, it had to be at least maybe about seven or eight of us in my bed. And believe me, we were comfortable too. And... Because they were partying, we had the kids in one part of the house where they were playing their, their games, and we had their spread in the back of the house, and then the front of the house was all for us, and we enjoyed ourselves and, you know, drank like we do for New Year's Eve, even if you don't drink a lot, just a couple of little cups or glasses will, um, you know, make you a little groggy or whatever mm -hmm. and drunk and you don't want to get out there and drive so I always tell all of my guests they can just crash at my house it's way big enough and you can just crash so let's keep that in mind let's be exactly. safe we're going to go to a commercial break Alrighty. make sure you check out Steve Moore um, you can go to uh, MimiJohnson.net and see his work uh, with Phil Moore Photography. I am also one of, uh, I am also his official spokesmodel. I'm an official spokesmodel for naturalhairquest.com. 
with your more photography and women in jazz south florida so you will be seeing more photos and commercials as well. Exactly. All right. And we're going to go to a commercial break. You're logged on to MimiJohnson.net, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. We'll be right back. Safe holidays. Bye, bye. reporter your ice reporter miss mimi johnson you're logged on to mimi johnson.net where we focus on arts entertainment entrepreneurs and inspirational life stories i have a fabulous fabulous entrepreneur here mr james horton how are you i am doing fantastic and happy birthday thank you <laughs> you know you smell good <laughs> okay. and and i know your wife loves that i love miss linda horton that's how we met Okay. Yes, yes, she's with the non, uh, non-profit non Trinity Awards, and that's where I met you. Yes. And then she said, oh, my God, I would love to have my husband come on your show to talk about sights and sounds, Black Cultural Expo. Yes. Which is your mobile museum. Exactly right. Yes. So let's talk about that. First of all, what inspired you to be in that type of business? For... About 35 years, I was a director of a community center in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and I also uh, directed a boys' boot camp. Okay. During that time, I worked with a lot of young people, and what I found out is that it was hard to get the message across to them because they had no idea how we got to where we are today. Yeah. You know, they were just like wild and running, you know, and I would talk to them. And one young lady said to me, she said, uh, you are the first black person that we ever known to be put on the in the newspaper on the front page of the newspaper in color, and you didn't kill somebody or you wasn't going to jail. Wow! So that's in a message to me that I needed to really go back and do some serious research and make sure that these young people knew how we got to where we are today, and we continue to do that with Sights and Sound Mobile Museum. Okay, now. Some of your pieces, because I'm going to come out and I'm going to do some coverage. Let's tell everybody some of the places that you're going to be and let's give some dates real quick. Okay. I'll be at the North DeKalb Mall for the entire month of uh, January. Okay. Uh, doing mall hours. I will leave North DeKalb Mall and I will be at Mount Olive Elementary School that uh, last last uh, few days in January and one or two days in uh, February. And then after that, starting the 4th of uh, February, I'll be at the Greenbri Mall. Well, this will be my fourth trip to the Greenbri Mall with the museum. At which time, we will actually sup anywhere from 25 to 30 tables, and you would have a, a walkthrough from Africa to Cap 
Gabby Douglas. Okay. Now, your website, Sal, Sights and Sounds, Black Cultural Expo Museum dot info. Right. So that's where everybody can go. And let me give you that again. Sights and Sounds, Black Cultural Expo Museum dot info. Right. Okay. So uh, let's talk about. You know, you put when you put this mobile museum together, mm -hmm. you know, what what kind of work is involved in that? Because you have to get pieces, you have to do shipping. You have, so uh, uh, how, how much work is that? That seems like a, a lot of work. It's not a lot of work for me because it's my calling. I, I think I know this is, in fact, what God wants me to do. Yes. Now, the museum itself has over... 10,000 pieces of artifacts and, mm. and literature related to the experience from Africa, as far as African Americans are concerned, and like I said, to Gabriel Union. So it, it, takes, it takes me about 8 to 10 hours just to set the museum up. Yes. And I guess it's a very unique way that I do it because you actually are, are doing what I call a time walk. Okay. You know, you start in Africa. And you come through the civil rights movement. Uh, wow. You come through an area called Grandmom's Kitchen where you see all the old utensils that was used during that time from the washboard to the old sewing machines. Then you will go to the Harlem Renaissance and you will have a period of time that things that was done there. Uh, the Buffalo Soldiers, the Tuskegee Airmen, uh, the civil rights movement. And in those areas, I highlight individuals and show artifacts that normally you would not see. Yeah. And to me that's very important. But my most exciting table is black inventions. For instance, mm. how many people know that the golf tee was invented by a black gentleman? Okay. Okay. Uh, how many people knew, knows that the light switch? Yes. How many people know that ice cream? Now can we get some names with that? Uh, the, the light switch? No, I can't remember all those names. Okay, I, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Okay, but that, but people going to come out and then you have that yes, information. Yes, I have all that information, yes. information there. Uh, and, and my wife, Linda, she has this uh, Chrysler. And I said to her the other day, because she was having some problems, but I said, did you know that a black gentleman uh, was an architect who designed that Chrysler, that automobile? Wow. Uh, and how about, and it, and it goes on and on and yes. on with these inventions. And, and I tried to expose uh, people to some other things. Other When I was growing up, it was Dr. George Washington Carver, and the only thing that you related to him was the peanut. Yeah. You, know, you got to remember, had it been for Dr. George Washington Carver, the South would have been in serious trouble because he said, look, don't plant the potatoes every year in the same spot. Let's rotate this so mm. you can get the nutrition back into the, the, uh, our soil. Yes. Uh, paint, you know, he uh, cross-pollinization, putting plants together. Well, a lot of people don't know that, and that's what we try to do okay. uh, with the uh, museum. And it's very important that you do that. And uh, we're, we're just excited about it, and we continue to make sure that it gets into the community where it's needed. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I, just, I just love doing it. And the answer to your question, it's some work. Mrs. Horton say that I'm doing too much work. But I don't think so. God just continued to bless me and give me the energy to get it out there. You know, the, the, the hardest part I have in that museum is deciding which pieces to take where. When you go to the storage area where you see uh, 15 by 30, and I can't get in the door because God has blessed me with all these artifacts. Uh, and it's not to put in my home. Yes. A lot of people it's say, I would display. love to come to your home to see what you have there. And I right. say, you will see this when you come to Right. To it's to home. share. Yes, it's, it's to, to share. share. Yes. Exactly. exactly. Yes. And that's the same way I feel about my work, too, though, Mr. Horton. I do, I'm, I do, I'm doing like seven different projects right now. And, well, all the kids are grown, so yay <laughs> on that one. <laughs> and, um... I just love my work. So it is work, but it's like a joyful work. Yes. So you yes. put in 14, 15, 16 hours, hour days, but it doesn't, it's like, so what? I'm going to get my sleep. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to eat good. I'm going to get my coffee in the morning. And I'm going to get up and start rocking and rolling again. And I think that when we do the work that we love, it doesn't even really seem like work. Yeah. It's more like uh, it's work because we got to still make money and we still got to have a job. and we so, But it's more like a career. Well, this one, I'm not making a whole lot of money, and Miss Horton want to know, how do you continue to, <laughs> to, to, to do that? Oh, and you know? tell us how. Uh, uh, once again, it's a blessing from heaven, and it's surprising that I do not want this museum that nobody could not come inside and see it because mm. they didn't have a dollar, two dollar mm. point. So what I do is put a jar on the table there and put a sign by it said, donations are welcome. Okay. And sometime I would leave home, go into the museum, and didn't have gas money. I said, now, how am I going to make it back? But all of a sudden, when I leave that in the afternoon, not only do I have gas money for yes. that particular day, but I got gas money for the rest of the, uh, the week. So it, it's important. It's important that it gets to the people who I feel like need it. And I do not want a dollar or two dollars to prevent that from, from happening. Yes. So, you know, when they go into the mall, they pay a little bit. But uh, God bless me with that donation jar. Okay. You, you'll be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I love donation it. jars. I'm going to tell you the truth. When I'm with my band, I have my little tip cup. I'll be like, mm, you can tip, too. Yes. I understand. Yeah. You have any last words? Well, one of the things that I say about Sights and Sound Black Culture Museum is that black history is not just a month. Yes. It continues to happen every day. And you heard me earlier say something about Gabby uh, Douglas. Mm -hmm. She's now a part of the uh, museum. And it's important that what you see in the museum is, is, is being in, in, well, inspirational and inspiring someone to move it themselves to the next level. Mm -hmm. And I place a lot of emphasis on doing this uh, for young people. And like I say, God has just tremendously blessed me with all these artifacts. And as long as uh, he's continued to allow me to breathe, sights and sound will be moving around this country. I love it. I love it. And the Arts Reporter will be right there January and February. Mm -hmm. And I will be right there to do the coverage and post it at YouTube. And we're going to get a lot of, just increase the profile. Um, people are going to see it here. So they're going to automatically go to your website. Right. So we're going to have a lot of people that are going to come and support Mr. James Horton. And I'm telling you right now, you want to come out to Sights and Sound Black cultural expo if you need more information you can log on to sites and sound black cultural expo museum dot info yes all right we're going to go to a commercial break and we'll be back right after these messages you are logged on to mimi johnson.net the arts reporter your arts reporter where we focus on arts entertainment entrepreneurs and inspirational life stories we'll be right back Mwah. Like an angel 
this is the Arts Reporter, your Arts Reporter, Miss Mimi Johnson. You're logged on to MimiJohnson.net where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. I got to give a shout out to my mom, Diva JC. Yeah, Diva ah. JC is, uh, she's like, the hair is great. And she just loves, she loves my hair. <laughs> Thank you, mother. Hey, what you think about my hair, Miss Miss Thank Mom? You. you got the clean cut. You got See, the clean this cut. This is Rustoleum number five, satin black. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. You always keep it nice and clean. Thank you. Uh huh. So what's going on with you? What you got going Man, on, little Jimmy? I got everything going. on. I ain't got as much as you. You must be Jam you must be Jamaican because you got like eight jobs. <laughs> I actually uh, Bahamian and Puerto Rican. And then got some black and some Native American and uh, probably some other things that I don't know about as well. But it's all good. I'm, I'm black woman. Cool. Well, check this out. I got my Christmas party, my third annual Christmas party coming up this uh -huh. next week. Okay. Yes. And man, it's called the... Oh, can you hold that up? Because my hands is kind of slippery. Can you hold that up for me? It's it's called the All Kids Christmas Party. It's right there on the fly. Can you, can you hold it up? She's going to hold it up for a second. Hold on a second. That's job number nine. She holds up stuff for people. Thank you. You're a stand-up kind of girl. But anyway, my All Kids Christmas Party is sponsored by WAC, it's World, WCA, World Christian Aid, Camp Sunshine, okay. Dove's Creation, and American Hearts Radio. Okay. And so what we do is we bring, like, World Christian Aid, they target refugees. Yes. And um, Mr. Ben Sika, all the refugees need to be acclimated to America. Okay. They need to know about education, how to speak English better. And World Christian Aid helps supply them clothes if they need them, food, shelter, stuff like that. And we have an all-kids Christmas party where we bring the refugee kids together with us American kids, and then we all socialize. Wow. And so the all-Christmas, the all-kids Christmas party yeah. is December 16th. Yes, ma'am. Now, what is this? Rehoboth? Yeah, Rehoboth. Rehoboth. Baptist Church. Yep. That's at 2997 Lawrenceville Highway in Tucker, Georgia. Yes, ma'am. 30084. Yes, They can log on to worldchristianaid.org. Yep. And little Jimmy is going to be there. Just, ah. And so I can post this. I'm going to post this next week okay. on our advertising. Sound like a plan. Okay. And make sure it's in the slideshow as well. Yep. Um, and Mr. Al, if you can put little Jimmy's, um, put his, uh, can logo, I my radio put show? his logo up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we want to get guys about my radio show. We, 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 yeah, there's okay. your radio. Yeah. yeah, with your flyer. Go ahead. Hey, I'm just hanging out. Yeah. But anyway, it's um called in the corner with little Jimmy. You know, I got the arch reporter thing going on. Thank yes. you, appreciate you. And then I got my own radio show every Sunday morning from eight to eleven a.m. And man, I'm telling you, it's a fabulous show. Okay. If you if you don't laugh, it's because you probably don't want to show your teeth. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's cool if you work the third shift at the Waffle House and you only got a couple left. It's okay. You can laugh and you have fun. And I mean, a lot of good topics, a lot of good stuff. And it's more so to encourage us kids to do stuff positive. Yes. But I, I, I got to say one thing. Tell them where, though. Oh, AmericanHeartsRadio.com. Right. Yeah. Click the listen button. Yes. But I got to say one thing. Go ahead. Well, really, it's going to be a bunch of things, but I got to say one so you let me say it. Go ahead. Okay, cool. Mr. Horton is off the chain. I know, right? Man, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, and, and I think that building our history and having the children come and see that where we are now, there was something that happened before to get us where we are now. Absolutely. I think that that's so important. And to yep. actually touch the tangible, I'm not, not touch, but don't touch. Yep. I'm more so to see the tangible yep. artifacts Absolutely. from hundreds of years ago. I think that's powerful. That's See, very because powerful. Because one thing I know as a young person, you know, I had to get my history the hard way. Yeah. Because my grandpa whooped me with all eight of his belts. <laughs> and he said, you remember how that felt? And I'd be like, yeah. He said, don't repeat that history. And you'd be cool. You know? And then he told <laughs> me about the black man who invented the belt. Yes. Or, or was it the first black man that got whooped with a belt? I don't know. It's one oh. of the two. But the thing is that... <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, knowing your history is very, very right. important. I don't, it was one of them. Sometimes I get it mixed up. Don't worry about it. Cool. 
But um, but he told me this won't be your first time and it better be your last. Okay. And then he said, if you talk back to me, I'm going to whoop yo. Shut your mouth. What? Shh. Shut cool. your mouth. Anyway, the point is, is that if you don't know your history, where you came from, yes. it's going to be difficult for you to function and appreciate where you at. Yes. Yes. And Mr. Horton is off the chain. Yes, I love that. We got to say hi to Tamika. Hey, Tamika. Tamika Powell, who is our executive administrator for Caustic Entertainment Group. Cool. My mom says that it keeps freezing on her, but I think she's coming back in a few minutes. Yes, but cool. hey, Tamika, we love you. See, the reason why it freezes on you, because this is a cold show. Get it cold, <laughs> freezing? Freeze cold. <laughs> ah, uh, ah. <laughs> Give everybody your website. Hey, you can just just follow me on Facebook. Look okay. up Little Jimmy Williams. Okay. On Facebook. You can go to YouTube. There's a lot of stuff on there. Little Jimmy DJ Pies. Yeah. By the way, what's up, boss? Hey, Pies. What's up, Brittany? Brittany. Point man. Point man. That's right. Who? Pastor Rock. Pastor Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jimmy Horton. Jimmy Horton. Hey, what's up, Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy says here. James, Mr. James Horton. No, see, he told me back in the day they used to call him Jimmy and they ah, call him that anymore. Ah, okay. But I am. That's right. How you doing, Mr. Miss Horton? <laughs> hey, I got I to gotta brush up. I got to, like, smooth up to him because I want to get that Buffalo Soldier jacket. I know. Isn't that? And wow. That that's, like, authentic. Absolutely. Hey, got to say what's up to Mr. Al. We love Mr. Al. I'm going to put it on TV that's so that he has to do it. That's our television engineer. Go to ILikeItLive.com. Yeah. Check him out. He's got fabulous shows. If fabulous. I put something on TV and it's on the internet, he has to do it, right? Yeah. Hey, Mr. Al's going to be my new manager. You guys ever got <laughs> He's got a to television engineer, technical engineer, sound, lighting, visual. Well, that's he's going to te <laughs> technically engineer you to make your money visual so you can pay us. <laughs> there we go. You are logged on to the Arts Reporter. This is Lil Jimmy and Mimi Johnson. Hey, December 16th, All Kids Christmas Party. Come on out now. Yes. Cool. We'll be back after these messages. Love you. <laughs> Tartar. Ta <-ta! laughs> if you give me some time, I'll make you mine. You are so How y'all doing? This is Miss Mimi Johnson, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. I got my little sis here, Neff and the Neff Tunes. What is going on? Hello, Miss Mimi Johnson. It's you. It's all about you, the arts reporter. Yeah, well, but eh, it's yeah. all about me, but it is really all about y'all. I just bringing it you know what i'm saying it's nice to be here the platform that i know that i have to uh create you know the most high put it in my power to be able to uh, build a platform for 
just wonderful artists like yourself. I can't wait. I, I don't know what song you're going to sing, but you know my favorite song. I do know your favorite And I song. really, 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 really hope. I know to you it's old, but a lot of our viewers have never heard it. That's true. That's, That's true. the I wasn't planning on doing that song, but since you're like re dry requesting, oh God, oh, on yeah. on on worldwide TV. Word, word, word. It would be nice. I'll do that for you. Give us the name of the song. The song is called "Your Truck," and it's about being dope but undiscovered. And I that song, I think I like it so much because it's saying. Everything that us as independent artists want to tell people. Right. Yeah, so you bumping my song. You loving my song. Mm -hmm. Purchase. Get it. Like, you know, purchase everything that I have to <laughs> offer. My t-shirts, my jewelry, All my right. CDs, my DVDs. Go come to my shows. Come support me. And it's so crazy because when I wrote that song, I mean, I never... I had never performed, actually no, I had performed somewhere, but it wasn't even something I was thinking about, it was just, it just kind of all came together like that, like, you know what I mean, like, you know, I'm an artist, and when I do this, you're going to want this, and you're going to want to to hear what I had to say, because can, you can relate, because you're a right. human being, that's how all human beings are, it's like, we all constantly go around and, like, have this discovery, like, oh, I'm this, you right. know what I mean, and, oh, shoot, should I tell anybody, you know what I mean, because not everybody is going to know until you tell them. Yeah. That's right. Where you from? I'm from Decatur, Georgia. I was born in California, but we moved here when I was, like, very young. So I've been here almost all my life, like 20 years. So, okay. Yeah. And you, I want you to speak up a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I want the viewers to be able to hear what you're saying. Y'all already know I'm loud. So, <laughs> you know, we got to make sure that they can hear you as well. When did you start performing? I started performing in 2006. I went to this. I had this a uh, this spot called Atlanta Steakhouse mm -hmm. by uh, Stonecrest Mall, and they were having an open mic, and okay. I just like wrote my first song. Okay. And I ended up going out there and just trying, it, and the response was real positive. So it was an encouraging, encouraging thing for me to do and keep writing, and keep performing, and I just love it. It's my it's literally my favorite thing. I remember about I remember about six or seven years ago seeing you somewhere when when um, we were performing with caustic dames mm -hmm. you know spliff is um, doing her mommy thing now she's going shooting out them babies <laughs> so I'm like go ahead shoot out the babies you know I'm, I'm gonna keep caustic right. growing and you grow the babies up and we're gonna be all right mm -hmm. and she even said to me wow that that cheek out right there that girl right there she is hot wow. um mm, yeah we've always loved you I appreciate it. And I have your T-shirts. I have your, you got earrings. Mm -hmm. I got, I should have worn them tonight. The, I, I think you got the necklace, too. I got the necklace. Yeah. And it's okay, because you know what? I'm bringing you back, like, in the spring. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to wear it then. Because you're going to wear your CCC. Say, we'll twins, right, you know I mean? right, yeah. Because yeah. people used to always think you was my little sister anyway. <laughs> that's your little sister? I'd be like, yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's my little sister. Yeah, yeah, we look alike, don't we? Yeah, we cute. I I got on the <laughs> lashes though. She won't wear no lashes. Oh, yeah. I'd no, no, love to see you I wear some not, lashes. I would not wear the lashes. <laughs> I like the lashes. I don't know. Someone yeah. Like lashes. Nice. Uh, girl, I can see. Oh, you would be so cute. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll so. Have a makeup date. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to have a makeup. Yeah. And have a photo shoot. Um, did you perform when you were a child? Um, not. Solo, not so much. Like I was in, okay. um, I was in the marching band. I was in the concert. There band. you go. Like, yes, yes. Did like choirs at school and stuff like that. Like little stuff, but never was like you know this is my composition. This is my artistic offering. But I right. was definitely a part of the group. You know what I mean? So it wasn't a big thing for me. But it was de the the band was definitely my start. I think in doing okay. stuff out there in church you know playing drums mm -hmm. at the church and singing in the church choir and stuff like that was the majority of my childhood experience yes um, that's that's experience. how that's how most of us start in in a, a collective situation mm -hmm. uh in church and school band you know choirs in school and music classes and doing plays yeah. as group which which actually helps us to understand how to work with other people definitely okay and then um 
as we get older, we begin to know our individual selves and where we want to be placed. Do we want to be in a group? Do we want to be solo? Or do we want, because I'm in the group Caustic Dames mm -hmm. and I'm Mimi Johnson, the Mimi Johnson experience as well. You, you see what I'm saying? Ways, yeah. Right. Two different markets, two totally different markets. Hip hop soul market, I mean, R&B yeah. soul, jazz, blues market. Yeah, I can uh, dig that. I can yeah. Dig that. That's why I kind of like... I get to be Nefertiti and the Neptunes. Uh, right. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing about it is, is that in this business, versatility is so important. You have same. to know how to be able to do several different things. Mm. That's why I'm the triple threat. My mom says I'm the octo threat. Octo threat. Because I, uh, I do like seven, eight different things, yeah. but probably more than that when you count it all up. Go to the resume, MimiJohnson.net. You'll see. Sure. Give everybody your website. My website is neftunes.blogspot.com. Mm -hmm. And you can go there to check out my music. You can check out my writing and my other experiences and being an independent artist and all that good stuff. Yes, excellent. It's like... Um, your your music is like me getting ready to drink a red a, a, a bottle of red wine in in a hot tub nice chilling with all the lights off with a bunch of candles it's your mood the mood music definitely that's that's how your move your music moves me nice. and, and and it's so it's so relaxing that's what i've always liked but i've always liked that i could relate to your lyrics as well mm -hmm. Any last words for our viewers? Because she's going to come back. Neff's going to come back and perform for us after the commercial break. Uh, make sure you go to the website, neptunes.blogspot.com. And I appreciate y'all listening in and watching the show today. Yes. Appreciate you, Mimi, for having me on. You That's very, what's up. Definitely did it. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, you're logged on to MimiJohnson.net, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. We'll be right back after these messages. Tartar, tartar. Ta What's that man intend to do? He said, if you were a good man, you'd beg me to marry you. If you give me some time, I'll make you mine. You are so divine, you make me shine. And every time I'm with you, my heart starts racing. scares you you prefer the single life just give me all your money honey i don't need to be your wife treat me right my baby loves me call me up on the phone my baby loves me he called me on the telephone Once you get to bumping this in your truck, once you get to bumping this in your truck, tell me would you put down a couple green bucks if you got to bump this in your truck, once you get to bumping this in your truck, I won't say a lot cause I don't gotta talk much, once you get to bumping this in your truck, once you get to bump this in your truck. Now I done heard a lot of my nice songs, crank up the ignition, turn the radio on. Gotta turn it down, I gotta sing my song. I've been sitting around and just writing these songs, trying to find someone that's gonna put me on. Exercise my talent, gotta keep it strong. Don't 
Don't you try to bag it cause it's all my own Don't you try to grab it cause it won't be my own Once you get to bumping this in your truck Once you get to bumping this in your truck Tell me would you put down a couple green bugs If you got to bump this in your truck Once you get to bumping this in your truck I won't say a lot cause I don't gotta talk much Once you get to bumping this in your truck Once you get to bump this in your truck Now when I blow it won't be love When I make it it'll be because I paid up When I do it it'll be because I stayed up Sleepless nights and caught up with my dreams cause Don't be mad at me because I killed your buzz Go back to bed, get your act cleaned up Better your petty is where it set me up When you come to me you better have your team up Once you get to bumping this in your truck Once you get to bumping this in your truck Tell me would you put down a couple green bugs If you got to bump this in your truck Once you get to bumping this in your truck I won't say a lot cause I don't gotta talk much Once you get to bumping this in your truck Once you get to bumping this in your Truck. Now haters hating, there will always be haters Let them perpetrators wear a pager You can beep them out wherever they occur I rep the cater, so I ain't gotta say where it's greater My maker put me on this earth to shake her And when I put my feet down it will quake her Arctic temperature, so dress in layers Goes out to all the cocky fakers Bumping this in your truck Once you get to bumping this in your truck Tell me would you put down a couple green bugs If you got to bump this in your truck Once you get to bumping this in your truck I won't say a lot cause I don't gotta talk much Once you get to bumping this in your truck Once you get to bump this in your How you doing? This is Miss Mimi Johnson, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. I want you to put up Shayna Field. I believe she's at the top of our list for the slideshow. She is one of 
one of the most fascinating teenagers that I've ever met. I am really proud of you. How you doing, Shayna? I'm wonderful. And how about you, Miss Mimi Johnson? You know I'm fabulous. You As already. Ah, thank you. <laughs> you know I put it down. I love my work. That's and wonderful. Yeah. That's really great. And I want to know, how do you love your work? I love my work a lot mm -hmm. because I get to express and embrace myself through the arts no matter if it's no matter what it is if it's singing dancing acting I get to become another person and express myself through that person and sing through my vocals and uh, you know how some people may uh, what box to let out their stress or let out their emotions when I dance it's a gracious dance to show how I'm flowing and show my ambitions and yes. it's really really an encouraging thing to do when I'm doing it for myself. How old are you? 14. I so remember when I was 14. <laughs> I do because I've been on stages since I was about eight or nine years old. Really? And I've probably been singing since my mom probably, you know, she used to be like right. this little girl right here. She won't, <laughs> she won't shut up. <laughs> and um, I have always enjoyed being on a stage how long have you been performing well I started um, my first stage productions well I've been dancing since I was three so basically mm -hmm. that set it off right there right and then I stopped in the middle of my lifetime and at nine years old I did my first stage production and okay. I was the lead of that and from then on I stopped a little bit more okay then back at age 11 I was in this big major awesome uh, dance production called Orlando's Chocolate Nutcracker. Okay. And uh, I was an apprentice dancer, and, you know, from then on, my passion just took off. Okay. And from then on, I just started wanting to take my career. Furthermore, I said, ooh, let me dabble into acting again, and let me start singing again. And from then on, it was just... That was that. Mm -hmm. It was a rap. It was a rap. <laughs> ah, I love it. You, um, your mother, Denise Williams, is very supportive of you. She, she's uh, the other singer. She's the other singer. The other singer. Yes, <laughs> yes. So she's got to be something to have a dynamic daughter like you. Thank um, you. Yes. Thank you. Um, like how I got, I got it from my mama. My mother is a dynamic entertainer and businesswoman. Mm -hmm. Log on to JoanCartwright.com. <laughs> You'll see where I get it from. And um, a lot of times it's genetics. It is genetics that we get our fabulous from somewhere. Sometimes it skips a generation. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's like, oh, wow, the next generation. So you, do you have any upcoming projects that you want to tell our audience about? Yes. Mm -hmm. Currently I'm working with TY Productions. Mm -hmm. And we're having a stage production coming uh, in February, possibly okay. at the Fox Theater, called The Color of My Skin. Okay. It's uh, about um, racial, races, racism discrimination and all those types of things put into one one story and okay. it's an emotional roller coaster you will be up and down and on the edge of your seat and uh i also do stand-up comedy and improv yes uh with quincy bonds from tyler perry's house of pain okay and uh we are going to start up at the atlanta improv theater okay and we've been doing it for a while now so i'm it's lovely to see a production that you started from the beginning grow I love seeing that yes yes indeed yeah. I, I the productions that I'm casting as well uh, from the beginning to now where you actually see oh dates are being set mm -hmm. and you're on stage and you're getting um, sold out you know opening nights and then sold out nights right. and um, it's 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 really invigorating when people come out and see you perform and then when it's when when the show is over all of these people come up to you and they're like oh my god i love you so yes, much oh my I god love you. i know another, right another thing is i uh recently was signed on to jana van dyke agency it's okay. a talent agency for film and tv so i'm really excited to be working in the film hmm. and tv industry that's where my passion is that's where it is well let's tell them about our teen arts reporter so you're going to be learning <laughs> to say, 
I'm the teen arts reporter, and we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. Yes, I can't wait. Yes. So I sit up here like you and talk about it to the camera and my fans and viewers. Tar tar. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. Do you have a website where people can go and check you out? You can check me out at www.jva.com. Mm -hmm. Also, you can reach me at cconnection2 at hotmail.com. It should be on the it is. On my card there. It is, mm -hmm. but we want when we upload it to YouTube for people that don't have Flash, for people that have iPhones and iPads, they can't see. We have to we we they can't go to mimijohnson.net. Oh, okay. So that's why we upload it to YouTube so everybody gets a chance to see it. So give everybody your website one more time and your contact. JVA www.jva.com mm -hmm. and my email is cconnection2 at hotmail.com Okay. And how excited are you like in the next 5-10 years? How excited are you about your career that's getting ready to just launch into this this wonderful experience? Uh, words can't even explain but I'm going to try to find some words today. Okay. Uh, only by the grace of God is how I will get to where I am because even like in history how it took us as African Americans mm -hmm. to struggle to get to different places it's still kind of the hard it's still kind of hard for us to get uh, to where we want to be and seeing African Americans really strive and actually do their thing and what they want to do. Yes. That's encouraging me and I know that I can do it through Christ that strengthens me. So I know. Well all right now. I love Christ too, girl. <laughs> we crunk for Christ like Miss Flanagan. We crunk for Christ. Oh <laughs> I know I love me some Jesus. <laughs> I was just saying the other day, I just love me some Jesus. <laughs> um because you know that spirituality, we need that as human beings it's just not about the flesh it's right. about that spirit first and then we're human beings second and i think that's really important and also with our talent we have to understand that this gift we have to protect it mm -hmm. you can't just let it go and do whatever we have to protect it and hone it and study right. and stay in our righteous sane mind because in this industry People do lose their minds, and you've seen it. We see that a lot in the mm -hmm. Hollywood news, yes. news, TMZ, all of that kinds of stuff. That's right. So we're going to go out, because we're going to have Shayna. Shayna starts with the Arts Reporter with the Teen yes. segment in January. And we are so Thanks. looking forward to um, studying so for that. And then my, my audience, the viewers are going to love you. They will Aww. become your viewers and your audience. <laughs> We're going to have fantastic teens come on so that you can interview them. We, of course, going to have you have a couple of segments with little Jimmy every now and then. So you and Jimmy can collab, little Jimmy can collaborate, right. of course. And um, I just want to say, when we look at all of the rest of the mainstream, let's not be so quick to um, change our minds about being so like, oh, I want to be a star. Oh, I want to be a star. Mm -hmm. You're a star. The platform that uh, is pre presented to you, where spirit puts you, that's where you're supposed to be. So we're going to go out with. It's not how high you fly, but how long you fly. That's the words from Joan Card Ride. It's not how high you fly, it's how long you fly. And we're going to go out. This is the Arts Reporter, your Arts Reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. You are logged on to MimiJohnson.net every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Say tartar. Tartar. Tar -tar. <laughs> Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Like a soul that's lost the blues. And I'm feeling very, very good. At last, my blues pass, and I'm free from the blues that have tortured me, and I'm feeling mighty, mighty good, I'm feeling good.